Now, even while reading from the impact of a Typhoon Odette, many Cebuanos are keeping their Christmas traditions alive. To give us more details on this, we have Mon Gualves. He's joining us live from Cebu City. Mon, Merry Christmas. Can you give us the latest? Riza, Merry Christmas. And despite the devastation caused by Odette, Cebuanos still flock to churches, including the Basilica Minore del Santo Nino. And truly, neither the storm nor its aftermath can stop Catholics from healing Mass, uh, especially this Christmas Day. Mass goers appear to crowd the church, even if physical distancing is being observed. Almost every Mass goer here has damaged homes or are still struggling with power outages or scarce water supply. But they still did not miss this special day for Catholics along with their families. Father John Ion Miranda of the Basilica Minore del Santo Nino says it's really second nature for Cebuanos to be prayerful. For him, the mass attendance today shows the depth of Cebuanos' faith and devotion, especially to Senor Santo Nino. Father Miranda also shared how a day after Typhoon Odette, many survivors wanted to visit the Basilica to express their gratitude. Aside from the masses, people also go to the said church these days for the free charging station. This is despite the Basilica also being affected by power outage. The church administrator says they just made it a point to keep the generators running, even if it's really hard for them to secure petroleum. Riza, to this day, majority of the Cebu province remains without electricity. But the provincial government has earlier assured residents that they are doing their best to restore power. Riza. Thank you. Again, that's Mon Gualves reporting from Cebu.